When a VAMAS file is opened in CASA XPS, the data are read, but if the file has previously been saved after some form of display processing or data processing, then what happens is that the state of the display when it was last saved is saved also as a file with the same base name but with the file extension SFF and this is a tile format file that contains the display instructions so that when the data appear in the right hand side in the logical structure of the file the left hand side displays the data as seen when the VAMAS file was saved there are many more VAMAS blocks in the right hand side than are displayed in the left hand side so these represent a subset of these VAMAS blocks and we can see which ones have been displayed by clicking on each one of these display tiles and then we can see that the marker indicates which of the VAMAS blocks correlates with the data displayed in a particular tile. Now the scroll list that we see here represents two pages of tiles and the pages refer to the way these data would be printed so when we look at the print preview then we see that there are pages one of two and clicking here we see it's page two of two so the two pages that would be printed and the printer allows us to make a print of these tiles Windows typically has some mechanism for saving a display in a file format so you can save it to disk rather than printing it in this case it's Microsoft XPS Document Writer however on Windows 10 you can create PDFs so the idea is that you could create a PDF of the display as seen in CASA XPS there is now an option that after you've created your PDF you can then save the actual data that corresponds to the list of data as displayed in the scroll list on the left hand side so now there is a toolbar button that is save tab ASCII data and these are ASCII files that are the same as the save tab ASCII that was previously available but was based on the selection in the right hand side so if you made a selection and clicked in the right hand side then the one button becomes active but when we click in the left hand side the other button becomes active so now when I select this button I can then say that I would like to save a file that contains the data and I'm going to give it a CSV file extension so it's a comma space file and when I press return it asks whether I want to create a single file which will have the name that I specified and it can either be rows of tables or columns of tables or separate files and if we choose separate files then you can also select how the file name will be created whether it's created using just a number the sample ID or the block ID these are information that come from VAMAS blocks and so that you can recognize the relationship between the file names and the data that are saved as a drawing within the PDF so if I just simply create rows of tables then what I will have found within the directory is now a file with the dot csv file extension so this is a, a excel recognized file extension the name I specified was test and so I can open this in excel and so for each displayed VAMAS block there will now be an entry within this file that represents the data that will include the the binding energy, the spectroscopic data, if there's a background it'll be exported, a data envelope that is created from synthetic components and all the synthetic components. So in this case there are two synthetic components that are used to model the silicon 2P. And we can see that as we scroll that there are a number of columns that match the number which was six of the VAMAS blocks that were displayed in the scroll list.